guys, welcome to Talking Money with Nozi, personal finance made simple. Today, I'll be talking about my favorite Satrix dividend ETF and the reason why it is my favorite. Firstly, what is an ETF for those who haven't heard of this before? ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund and what it is, it's a group or a list of shares of different companies sold on the stock market as one product, the ETF. So when you buy an ETF, your money gets invested in all the many different companies that are part of that particular ETF. For example, there's an ETF called the Top 40. This is a group of 40 shares of large South African companies like MTN, Vodacom, ShopRite, Capitec, Impala Platinum, Clicks, Discovery, Sunlam, etc. Up to 40 different companies. The advantage of investing in ETFs is it makes investing very easy because you do not need to learn how to pick individual shares. Believe me guys, picking individual shares needs a lot of work and it is not just a matter of following what people are saying on Facebook or at your bri. By investing in ETFs, you just buy all or most of the shares that represent the stock market. For example, the top 40 ETF has got 40 large South African companies which make up more than 80% of the size of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. What this means is the top 40 ETF is a fair reflection of what happens to the South African stock market as a whole. And if you want to get returns of the South African stock market as a whole, you just buy the top 40 ETF. Same applies to ETFs like the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is a group of 500 large American companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, McDonald's, Visa, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, Nike, ETC, up to 500 different American companies. The companies in the S&P 500 make up about 75% of the total US stock market. What this means is the S&P 500 ETF is a fair reflection of what happens to the American stock market as a whole. And if you want to get returns of the American stock market as a whole, you just buy the S&P 500 ETF. Another advantage of investing in ETFs is that they are cleaned on your behalf. If a company performs badly long enough, it is kicked out of the ETF on your behalf. For example, a company called Steinhoff International was once one of the 40 largest companies in South Africa and it used to be part of the top 40 ETF until it was removed from the top 40 after accounting fraud was discovered by auditors in 2017. Basically, ETFs are cleaned on your behalf and you don't have to worry about bad companies dragging down your entire portfolio. Another advantage of ETFs is that they give you automatic diversification and protect you from the risk of losing most or all of your money because your money is invested in many different companies at the same time instead of just one company. And the chances of 40 companies or 500 companies all going out of business at the same time is very, very minimal. And finally, one huge advantage of ETFs is that you can buy them inside of a tax-free investing account, your TFSA. If you buy ETFs inside of your tax-free account, there is no South African tax on all dividends that you earn, and there is no tax when you sell your ETFs for a profit. In other accounts, which are not tax-free accounts, you will pay tax on all your dividends as well as on your profits when you sell your investments. Now, let's discuss Dividends. What are dividends? Dividends are cash payments made to shareholders or ETF holders. When it comes to dividends, you look at something called the dividend yield. The dividend yield is a percentage that is calculated by taking the annual dividend amount and dividing it by the current share price or current ETF price. For example, let's say company X has a share price of 100 Rand. If they pay a dividend of 10 Rand annually, the dividend yield is 10% because 10 Rand is 10% of 100 Rand. 
The dividend yield is important because you can use it to estimate how much dividends you will earn for your investments. But guys, you need to be very, very careful. When you choose investments, you don't only look at dividends because you will end up falling for a dividend trap. What is a dividend trap? It is where a company or an ETF pays a very, very high dividend, but they've got poor growth performance. Dividends for me are just the icing on the cake. Performance is the most important. That's the cake, right? Now, let me show you a few Satrix ETFs that pay dividends and which one of them is my favorite and why it is my favorite. Okay, guys, this is my spreadsheet where I put in six Satrix ETFs that pay high dividends. This is not to say that other Satrix ETFs do not pay dividends, but I specifically chose these ones because the dividend yield is quite significant. So I have Satrix DV, Satrix Finney, Satrix Quality, Satrix Resi, Satrix SA Property, and Satrix 40. So in these different columns, I have as follows the TER. What is the TER or T-E-R? That is the percentage that you're going to be charged every single year for owning an ETF. And the lower the TER, the better. So when you're choosing ETFs, you have to look at the TER and try as far as possible to choose ETFs with a low TER. Then I also have the current ETF price. Guys, prices change every day. So by the time you watch this video, these prices will probably not be the same as today. Then where it says amount invested, this is the amount of money that I'm assuming you'd invest as a lump sum. Okay, this is not to say you should invest 10,000 rand. I use 10,000 just for simplicity, for calculations. It makes everything easier. Number of ETFs is how many ETFs you'd actually get if you buy them using your 10,000 rand lump sum. Then there's dividend yield, and I'll show you where I got the dividend yield from. Then annual dividend amount. So how I calculated this is I took the dividend yield and multiplied by the amount that you invest. So 10,000 times the dividend yield gives you how much you get as a dividend annually. So what you're looking at here, these are not quarterly dividends. These are annual dividends. Even though these ETFs pay dividends every quarter, when you add up all those dividend payments, this is what you will get. On this column, I have the 10-year performance. Guys, this is important. This, however, is not to say that this is how the ETFs are going to perform going forward into the future. We don't know their future. So the best we can do is judge based on the past, although it's not a perfect measure, but it gives us an idea, right? So the 10-year performance, for me, this is what I look at. I look at the term, and then I also look at the performance because I don't want to buy an ETF that's not going to perform. So this is the 10-year performance, and I'll show you where I got that from. The last column is the growth of the 10,000 rand lump sum over 10 years. So here, I assumed that you invested 10,000 rand 10 years ago, and then based on the performance for 10 years, how much would your investment of 10,000 Rand be worth today? So let me show you where I got the tur, where I got the dividend yield and the 10 year performance. I went to this website called etfsa.co.za. So this website shows you all the exchange traded funds or ETFs that are sold on our stock market, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. So it shows the provider, the ETF name, the region, whether it's a domestic, meaning South African ETF or foreign ETF. Then here's the TER, which is the TER, it's a percentage. And like I said, it's the cost of owning the ETF. Then where it says fact sheet, you can click on view to view the fact sheet. Then there's also profile. So for Satrix, I'll start with Satrix TV. So here's Satrix TV. If we go across, here's the TER of 0.43. If I click on view, the fact sheet will open. So here we go. Distribution quarterly. So they pay dividends quarterly or four times a year. Dividend yield is 4.83%. That's where I got the dividend yield from. What about performance? This is where I got the performance. So where it says 10 year, there is the 10 year performance for Satrix Divi. I went through all 
the other ETFs as well and came up with this spreadsheet. Okay, so now you know where I got the TER, where I got the dividend yield, as well as the 10 year performance. So let's go through these ETFs and then I'll tell you which one is my favorite of them. So let's start with Satrix Devi. TER is 0 0.43, dividend yield is 4.83, meaning for a lump sum investment of 10,000 Rand in one year, you can expect to earn a dividend of 483 Rand. The 10 year performance for Satrix Divi has been 10.61%, not bad, meaning the lump sum of 10,000 Rand over the 10 years would have grown to 27,412 and 20 cents. Satrix Fini Ter is also 0.43. Dividend yield 2.6, meaning in a year you expect to earn 260 Rand. The performance over the last 10 years has been 10.63%, which means a 10,000 Rand lump sum would be now worth 27,000 Rand, 461 and 81 cents. Then the Satrix quality, TER is 0 0.37, dividend yield 4.79% meaning you will get an annual dividend of 479 rand. The performance is not great. I don't like this. 7.48% for me, that is low. And your 10,000 would currently be worth 20,572 rand. Satrix Resi has got the highest tur of these six ETFs, 0.44%. Dividend yield, 5.37%, meaning for a lump sum of 10,000 rand, you can expect to earn 537 rand in dividends. The 10 year performance is 8.94%. I don't like it either. And your lump sum of 10,000 rand, if you had invested 10 years ago, would currently be sitting at 21,469 rand and 61 cents. Then the Satrix SA property tur is 0.32%, dividend yield of 7.16. Yo, this is very high. So from your lump sum of 10,000 rand, you can expect an annual dividend payment of 716 rand. The 10 year performance, 8.15. I also don't like that one. The growth of the 10,000 rand lump sum over the past 10 years would now be sitting at 21,890 rand and 98 cents. Then lastly, there's Satrix 40. The tur is 0.1%. This is the cheapest of all these listed here. Dividend yield of 3.68%, meaning for a 10,000 rand lump sum, you can expect to earn 368 rand in dividends. And look at the 10 year performance, 11.8, which is the highest of all these ETFs. And a 10,000 Rand lump sum invested 10 years ago would currently be 30,508 Rand and 30 cents. So the winner for me of all these is Satrix 40. Why? Because I don't only look at dividends. If you only look at dividends, you might be shortchanging yourself. You must look at number one, the TER. Number two, you look at the performance in the past. Again, performance is not perfect but it's what we have, so we use that, right? Then lastly, you look at the dividend yield. And I absolutely don't look at the price. So many people always say, no, but Satrix 40 is expensive. Let me buy cheaper ETFs. So if you buy cheaper in terms of price, you might be missing out on growth. Okay, so don't only look at the price of an ETF. Look at its performance. Look at the TER, which is the fee which you'll be charged every single year for owning that particular ETF. And then lastly, you can look at things like price, et cetera. So guys, this is how I choose my ETFs. And let me just highlight Satrix 14 green, because for me, this is the clear winner in terms of performance, in terms of the TER. The other ones are quite expensive, as you can see with the TER, even though the dividend yield might be higher. This is not to say don't buy the other ETFs but just be aware what you are buying. So this whole thing is intended for you to learn, not for me to make a judgment for you, but just to learn my thinking process of how I do things so that you can make more informed decisions. Okay, guys, this is where we'll end the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. Until next time, happy investing.